Hey YouTubers, here's a video on making Thanksgiving dinner with the new Wave Oven. Now I have to admit, I did a couple cheats and my kitchen's really not set up very well. It's kind of dark, so I used this table in the corner. So I apologize for the video quality. And I'm just an RV guy at home who likes to cook. I'm no Massimo Butura, but let's get this started. All right, YouTubers, it is Thanksgiving time. So I'm gonna cook Thanksgiving dinner. You know, with COVID and all that, no traveling. So my attempt is to keep it small, but I'm going to cook more food than I need. And it's going to lie. I'm going to be eating Thanksgiving for a week. I'm going to use a new wave oven to do some of it. And I'm going to use my induction cooktop. I'm going to tell myself I'm in the RV when I'm not. And because I'm cooking more, <laughs> I had told myself, let's not go overboard. But, you know, I can't help myself. There's a good chance I might use the New Wave Mini to cook as well. So I'm going to do most of the fixings of Thanksgiving and these things. And I figured I would show you. I don't know if I'm cooking every single thing on these. I might use my stove, but I like using these gadgets. And to show you what the New Wave oven can do. Or that whole disembodied voice thing. Um... This meal is going to have some cheating in it because, you know, it's it's hard to cook Thanksgiving dinner from scratch. <laughs> I cook pretty decently in the RV, but I am far from a chef and I don't think I've done a Thanksgiving meal in a while like a real one. So we're going to do what we're going to do. And for me, my water here stinks. So I'm going to put water in here after I filtered it. Put a cover on it. And I'm making, again, I'm going to cheat, but I am making macaroni and cheese. And I've never been good at getting everything done at the same time, but I have a plan. So <laughs> we're going to see how it turns out. So I'm going to start the macaroni and cheese, get it cooked and out of the way, and then move on to other stuff. Okay, again, apologizing, it's out of a box. But in goes the pasta and there's salt in the water all right now it's time for another cheap thing i guess this is helpful for those that say they can't cook this is uh comes in a pan and you can cook it in the oven so i'm gonna start it now and like i said i have a plan to try to get everything done in time it's cheating there are uh, asparagus, sweet peppers, and onions in here. Open this. Take that out. Move that. I'm almost embarrassed. I apologize. So, cook time. 30 minutes. And away it goes. <laughs> Did I say almost embarrassed? I might go to full on embarrassed. All right, here's the turkey breast. It's uh, three and a half pounds. So I'm gonna open this up over the sink. You don't get to see all that. I'm gonna move on to part two. <laughs> you know, I get new respect for those that, that are always in charge of the uh, holiday festivities cooking. It's not my strong suit. I'm gonna drain the pasta, try to clean out some of the starch. Back on there. Did I mention this is gonna be the fanciest meal you've ever seen? Bag of cheese. <laughs> I've often said in my YouTube videos that I like to keep it real. Uh, I think I'm proving that here because this is embarrassing. But don't act like you've never done it. <laughs> I don't eat a lot of uh, mac and cheese, but I think you gotta have mac and cheese. I'll try to doctor this up a little bit later. Boy, I thought, thought there'd be more cheese in that than that. It wasn't craft, but it wasn't much better. I got a little parm. I'm gonna add some parm to it now. All right, we'll give that a couple minutes. Now we're gonna move on to the next thing. Cause it's the holidays, there's always a next thing, right? All right, 
The mac and cheese is done for now. Like I said, there's gonna be attempts to make this all come together. All right, we're moving on to stuff. Butter. It's supposed to be about a quarter cup. I'll figure it out. Put in a new culator for 10 seconds. Okay. All right, now about one clove of garlic, a little bit more. I like garlic. Teaspoon of Italian seasoning. It's a pretty neat little device. I'm gonna use some Penzi's season salt instead of regular salt. It's really good. So normally I would do paprika, but I'm gonna do berberry. And I'm gonna go a bit, little bit lighter. Those vegetables are done. I took my eye off them. I think they're definitely cooked. Yeah, we'll say at best they're done. Okay, use too much butter. So it's gonna be a buttery ball. About half a teaspoon of garlic salt. So it's gonna be garlicky. I think it needs a little bit more Italian seasoning. Okay. Important, you gotta keep tasting stuff. Now it's time to get the, the turkey. Ooh, that's still hot. Okay, now it's time for the bird. I've washed my hands. I'll try to get under that skin. As I'm editing this, I realize I believe this to be the first time I've ever done a full Thanksgiving turkey dinner on my own. I've always had help. All right, I'm gonna take this. I'm just gonna try to smear it under there. Best I can. Well, more accurate, I've usually been the help. Okay. You gotta do both sides. I'm trying to do this carefully, not to poke any holes through the skin. Turned out all right. I'll smear some under there. And I'm gonna save some for the end, the last bit, and put it on top. Again, my grandmother always said, and she was right, don't be afraid to use your hands. All right, I wash my hands. Again. Okay. GoPro's here still recording. I'm gonna put this sucker on the rack. Spread the rack down to help with the cleanup. Put this sucker in there. Must be good, be good, don't drip. Okay, I'm gonna put the ring on the new wave. Okay, we're good. I'm gonna move everything. Okay, we're gonna start it off the first 30 minutes at 350. Cook time, 30 minutes. Start. And away it goes. All right. Recalculation. I'm gonna put this butter on it. All right, I'm gonna tempt it. And be honest, I should have just got a turkey breast, but I didn't. <laughs> so, I'll give this a half an hour. I was one minute into it, so. We'll restart it. And that happened. GoPro. You don't want to cooperate, do you? All right, now it's gonna stay on. Half an hour, I'll be back. All right, this doesn't want to cooperate. Not really my jam. <laughs> That's why I don't do stuff like this. Well, let's see. This might work. Try that. Might be big enough. Where do I put that there? 
I don't know how much of the heat I'm going to deflect away. But that should stop it from flying away. All right, moving on to the next thing. That's about a quarter cup of brown sugar, some butter, I don't know, that much, a chunk of it. About a teaspoon of cinnamon, a little bit of salt, a little bit of nutmeg. I guess that's a dash. Some vanilla extract. Not much. I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of ginger. That's enough. It's never enough. All right, now we're gonna melt this down. Okay. All right, now we got a can of candied yams, sweet potatoes. Don't get in an argument about what you call them. I'm gonna open them up. All right. I'm gonna spray a little spray in there, and I'm gonna take these canned ones. I'm just gonna cut them down. You try to keep them kind of even, I guess, so that everything will cook the same. I guess, if you're going to cook, you can't be afraid to get your hands dirty. One thing my grandmother always taught me is you cook with your hands, you got to feel the food. And I think she's right. Even if that means you're making one heck of a mess. <laughs> I guess it's not a holiday if you're not making a cooking mess. I didn't think all this was going to fit in here, but it do. All right. All right, we're going to drizzle this over it. Woohoo, that's sweet. Right, I'm going to cover this with foil. Use my new Wave Mini. Clean up. Now, since these are canned, they won't take as long to cook. If I was cooking like real sweet potatoes, they would probably take a good, uh, I don't know, 40 minutes or so, but I'm gonna do these for like 10 or so. Well, cook time, we'll do 12 minutes. Let's start that. Now we're gonna take this off. See how it's doing. So we're half an hour in. It's going to take probably close to two hours. So I'm going to do another 30 minutes. So we'll be at an hour. I'm going to leave this. I might use it again. But um, I want to keep an eye on it. Alright, I'll try to zoom that in. But we're about uh, 50 minutes in or so. 40 minutes. It's coming along. It'll take a while. All right, this is twice that I've tripped that outlet. I haven't used this before. On that outlet, so we're gonna try it on the one the other one was using. Hopefully it'll stop tripping. It was tripping this, so we'll see. I gotta keep an eye on it. Be very hard to know if it's done when you don't know how long it's cooked. <laughs> I guess it's good that I took the uh, foil off because I guess in a convection, you don't want to use foil on a turkey. Um, I'm thinking at this hour point, I might take this bottom ring out. I don't know yet. It's tough to know. All right, I'm gonna do something else that people think is weird probably. Um, they give you the package of turkey gravy with it. Um, but I'm gonna use beef gravy, I think. I just prefer it for potatoes. Another 30 minutes. This will get us to an hour and a half at the end. All right. All right, I got my potatoes mashed. I think I forgot to show you the recording of it. 
but yeah, they're good. And turkey's looking good. Looking good. All right. Can't be Thanksgiving without cranberry sauce. I'm making too much food. All right, there's cranberry. I'm also gonna have some seasoned collard greens. Uh, seriously, I'm gonna be eating Thanksgiving for a week. Gravy. I'm gonna put some shallots in it. Again, I'm weird that I'd rather have beef gravy on my potatoes. So everything's getting heated up and then cooked real quick at the end. I think this turkey might be done. I think we're good. I'm gonna get it in there. Check the temperature. We are definitely good. It was about an hour and 45 minutes. Okay, so we'll take this. Try to be quick. And uh, move this all. I'm gonna take this out since I'm not making the gravy. I just really don't like gravy on the turkey. I'm trying to do all this. I know, Pete. Now as that turkey is resting, I'm gonna get some other stuff done. I'm gonna put the vegetables, which, uh, product review, I don't think I'll be buying those again. And I'm gonna use the bigger rack. Try not to burn everything with this hot thing. Mac and cheese. Put it in that. I was gonna do this right in here, but I'll do it in that. Take this off. Woo! And then it's marshmallow time. Now I don't have the miniatures, so you make it work. You can cut marshmallows in half, I think. <laughs> Mellows of Marsh. Put those in there. Got something else to do. Some more Parmesan cheese. All right. Cook time, we'll do four minutes. Keep an eye on them. Put the potatoes back on. Some shallots in there as well. It, put it in the gravy, might as well put it in there. I really can't believe with as long as this video got that somehow I spent time talking to a GoPro that wasn't recording the whole mashed potato experience. Those aren't gonna take long to heat up at all, but I need to make a change here. Move this. Take this ring out. That back. That back. So I'm trying to brown this up. That ought to do it. Oh, that's gonna brown them up. That's right on top of them. Okay, now off camera, I'm gonna slice some of the turkey. I just had stuff everywhere in my cramped kitchen, but this turkey turned out really nice. Really happy with it. Yeah, those pans are hot. All right. Potatoes are there. Gravy. Mac and cheese, please. Okay, the gravy's hot. The new wave really does a good job on turkey. Look at that plate. Sweet potatoes. Okay. 
ready? Now the veggies. Alright, now that's a plate. Let's go eat it. I apologize that the video is still not that great. Looks like a good plate of food to me. Flyover. Sweet potatoes or yams with marshmallows. Collard greens. There's the cranberries. Really nice turkey. Mashed potatoes. Beef gravy. And macaroni and cheese. Thanksgiving's one of those meal days that you feel guilty, but do it anyways. All right, let's give everything a taste. First, the mac and cheese. Hmm, out of a box. That's all right. It's doable. Some of these veggies. Again, I don't think I'll buy that again, but there's the veggies. The greens. Hmm, those are good. I like greens. I like me some greens. Yams with some marshmallows. Ooh, the marshmallows got a little crunch to it. Hmm. That simple sauce that I put over, it's pretty good. I really don't salt anything, but I like it on turkey. And I like it on mashed potatoes. So let's try these mashed potatoes. That was good. I put a good amount of garlic. I like the shallot in it. I can't believe I forgot to show you the mashed potato process. All right. Now a piece of turkey. See how it came out? Good. For me, it's really good. There might be some people that would say it's dry. No, they wouldn't. No, I don't think anybody would say it's dry. It's very good. Mm. And that... That little butter rub thing I did, that came out pretty good as well. It's good turkey. All right, I'm going to finish watching football. Have a great and wonderful day. I know it happens to others, but this is the point in the meal where I realized I forgot something important. Stuffing. All right, stuffing. Got to have stuffing. All right, turn it off. Instant stuffing is about as easy as it gets. Cover it for five minutes. And then we'll eat it. All right, you gotta have seconds. Turkey, the stuffing that I missed, sweet potatoes, a little bit of the greens, mashed potatoes and gravy, and some more uh, cranberries. I should feel guilty, but I do not. All right. This turkey did come out very good. And I know it's out of a box, but Hawaiian sweet bread stuffing, that stuff's good. That's taste of gravy. Mm. Sweet potatoes and marshmallows. I already almost dozed off. I'm gonna doze off for sure after this. Seconds, but that's what Thanksgiving's about. Hope everybody had a good day. Stay safe and have a great and wonderful day. Mm -hmm. I make it slap somebody at a table. Benny, hey, happy Thanksgiving. Have some turkey. Kiki, happy Thanksgiving. Are you going to be able to get to it? Yeah, you will. Get the bird, Kiki. Happy Thanksgiving. Sat on the kitchen floor pulling bits off the carcass with two happy cats eating it up.